you with? I got a gold coin I think you might be interested in. It's from 1880. It's uh, from Newfoundland. The $2 Newfoundland was the only gold coin that circulated in Canada at the time. Newfoundland didn't become a Canadian province until the 1940s. So in 1880, when this coin was minted, it was still a British colony. And a rare coin from a colony that no longer exists is a thing collectors love. One of the problems with it is it's a Canadian gold coin. Yeah, but and the market's a lot smaller. If that was a U.S. gold coin, that thing would be worth like 30 grand or more, right? Uh, if it was a U.S. gold coin, it'd probably be worth a lot more than that. Yeah, right. <laughs> what were you looking to get out of it? I don't know, seven grand? Ooh. <laughs> what? Come on. Seven grand's not gonna happen. How about 3,500? Three grand. 3,100. All right, 3,100. All right. All right. Cool, thanks. All right, let's go do some paperwork. All right. What can I help you with? Oh, I'd like to sell my gold medal. So where in the world did you get this? Well, I had a pawn shop, and in 1987, this was brought in to me to pawn. Okay. I see it's a sample. How did the person get it to pawn it to you? He worked for Jostens, which is the manufacturer of the gold medal at that time. Olympic medals can be worth anywhere from thousands of dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars. But one given out to a well-known athlete like Carl Lewis or Michael Phelps, that would be priceless. So what did you want for it? I wanted to get 2000 for it. The problem is it's a sample. I mean, 350 would be it, man. It's worth more than that. I have to pass. OK. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it in, though. I appreciate it. I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my rare 1861 double eagle $20 gold piece. I took this coin for collateral against the guy skipping court, and he did skip court. Now I gotta pay 50,000 bucks, so I'm hoping it'll make a dent in the $50,000 that I owe on this bond. The U.S. Mint started making these coins in 1849, and they continue to make them for over 80 years. This is uncirculated, mint state. This is a very expensive coin. The reason this one is worth so much money is because this was a really low mentage year. Uh -huh. I'd like someone to look at it who just knows a little bit more than me. Sure. When we had the 1849 gold rush, America had a, a substantial gold supply. They started issuing the $20 gold piece. Up till, till then, they only had the $10 gold piece. So that's why they call it a double eagle versus a eagle. What grade do you think it is? Looks very high grade off the cuff. Very, very minor scratches on the whole coin. Good body. Very slight wear. This would minimally be worth $40,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Andrew. I really appreciate it. How much you want for it? 34, you got a deal. What do you think? I'll go for it. What the hell? Good All deal. right, 34,000. Fantastic. 